September is Spirits Month in Virginia. It's believed at one time George Washington had the largest whiskey distillery in the country. And the original recipe, get this, is still being made hundreds of years later. Capitol Bureau reporter Evan Armour went to Mount Vernon to see how it's done. This is where it all happens. This is the reconstructed distillery. The methods they use here today are the same ones that were used in George Washington's time. Legislation passed through the General Assembly session this year making George Washington's rye whiskey Virginia's official spirit. This original recipe or mash bill dates back to the 1790s. It gives you perspective on where we were and how far we've come. Steve Bayshore is Mount Vernon's Director of Historic Trades. A lot of these historic trades are dying arts, really. But here, they're still making that spirit the same way it was back then. I believe we're doing a service to people really understanding their past and keeping these trades alive. Bayshore says most people think of Washington in terms of his public service as our first president. But he says he was also an incredible businessman and farmer, something visitors learned firsthand. People really get to see the step-by-step -step way whiskey was made in that time period. Not only that, but in the exact same spot. Crews spent six years studying the site. And what we found was a lot of the uh, details of the distillery were still there, the foundation, the drains, uh, features that we could tell where the components were. Leaving its original footprint for restoration. Every still is placed where an original still was located. The boilers in its original location. The reconstructed distillery is celebrating its 10th year of showing visitors how things were done here many more years ago. At Mount Vernon, Evan Armour, 10 on your side.